It's the day before the festival and I am so excited and giddy and nervous. It's like Christmas Eve, kinda. I just went on a run to get rid of, of some of my stress and nerves and now I'm stargazing on my car because I love the stars. So great. I need to learn more constellations though. Tomorrow is going to be extra exciting. Not only because it's the opening day and opening night party, but I'm miming right before the party, which is so exciting. I haven't mimed in a couple years. Tomorrow I'm also taking over the College of Arts and Letters at MSU, their Snapchat, and that is so exciting. <laughs> I'm a little nervous for that too, which I guess is kind of stupid because Snapchat is literally my favorite medium, but I'm worried that tomorrow is going to be like a big office day, but I'm going to be miming and then there's a party like, it'll be great. So pumped. Hi everyone, it's Kendall. I'm a recent Spartan alum. I studied theater and professional writing, and I'm taking you guys behind the scenes of my Traverse City Film Festival internship today. It's gonna be a long day, so I gotta get those nutrients in, right? You feel? live from the State Theatre box office behind the screens. This is where I print comp tickets for press and everyone important. Right here. I guess I'm not the tallest in the town anymore. No, you're not. <laughs> Fun fact, the line keeps the sound in my face, so I can talk now. So I just did PR all day, then I mimed a little bit tonight, and now I'm enjoying the opening night party. Woo! The festival has officially kicked off. Thank you so much for watching. Go green! Congratulations guys, your film was super well received. <laughs> uh, so since a lot of you guys didn't see the movie before today, was there something you were worried about that ended up actually turning really well, like your favorite part or something? So the Portuguese. Uh. I don't know how to speak Portuguese and that took, Dylan, how many, how many tries did that take? <laughs> Million. Three million. Yes. It was very difficult and I'm lying like I knew what I was saying, so that was probably the hardest part for me. Well, any of the actors here, any of your best scenes end up on the cutting room floor and and uh, anything that we uh unfortunately they didn't cut my pants off, so twice. <laughs> Uh, I was surprised that we actually got like good clips of everything because we were laughing hysterically. Like when I was eating that brownie, like we were dying laughing. It was four o'clock in the morning, everyone was exhausted, and we were all slap happy laughing for like two hours just trying to film. It was just like I can't believe we actually got a good clip because I mean the elevator scene too. We were we were hysterically yeah. laughing. So <laughs> who's the who's the Glenda that rolled off the uh, hood of the of the SUV? Casey. Did she actually do her own stunt there? Just yeah. yeah really? uh, <laughs> stage You all did your own stunts. So all, so all the fighting at the end, everything. Woo woo! Yeah. Three takes. Uh -huh. Yeah, three takes. Three, three takes of that. Three takes. Who was the set medic? 
Um, well, that scene was really fun. Rosie and I uh, choreographed that for the theater version, and then for the film, we brought in another guy who knew more about uh, film fighting, and he helped us really kind of put it all together and add a couple moves in there, and then we just like banged that out all in one day, like three takes. It was three takes, I think. Yeah, you want to talk about that? Yeah. I think we got it. Yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. Um, like right when the project first started, they're kind of dishing out who's gonna do what. And me and Ben, who was the director of photography, like, please God, give us the fight scene. And then our uh, producer Nick Hayes and then Leo were like, you guys got the fight scene. Like, woo! Like, Shit, how are we gonna do it? So then, um, we always we're a big fan of like kung fu movies where they do like a lot of elaborate um, choreography and like one take. So like, let's do one take. We blocked out two hours. We met with them Wednesday before we filmed Saturday. Met with everybody. We went through it a little bit with Corinne, Rosie. Got all the choreographed and we showed up on set and just they nailed it. It was awesome. I was getting everybody high fives. <laughs> it was three takes. The first two takes, I ran in there, gave them high fives. Third time I came in there, all their hands up ready for me. It was great. It was a good time. There's another difference between stage and film. You're literally waiting, like holding on, like waiting for the camera to turn. And then to come back. And then you <laughs> fight or whatever you're doing. And you're waiting again. Kyle's directing the whole thing, so. I just want to give a shout out to Kira because uh, editing the fight scene was really fun for us. But um, I didn't come to edit one day. And then the next day I came and Kira had put Ave Maria in the scene. <laughs> and I like almost cried. It was so perfect. So. <laughs> And that whoever whacked, who whacked the host of the party uh, with that piece of sculpture? Huh? But just that, that and the editing of that, I mean, it just, it was completely, it actually, I thought, I think they actually hit that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean it's, it's just little things like that. And, who, and the decision with the, whoever did the photographer, just the, the Detroit, the, there's just a few Detroit shots, but you, sh you showed Detroit in a way that we're not used to seeing it in the movies or on TV and lit yes. differently too. The way you processed the shot of downtown Detroit, the skyline uh, coming down the uh, Bell Isle there, that was really, uh, I was really impressed with the thinking that went into that and deciding to just very briefly show Detroit in a different light. It was really, uh, Woo it was pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Right now I am currently in my mom's Airbnb in Traverse City because she came up yesterday. So we got to hang out a little bit. Last night, I got to sleep in air conditioning. Praise. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have the early shift today at 8 a.m. So it's kind of early, but it's going good. Mike, I'm looking at your hat. <laughs> Susan, where are you right now? <laughs> I hope you're filming me. I am. I'm at the open space. Woo! You wanna see? <laughs> oh, I hit something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bag. Wait, oh, this is like where I can look at something, right? Yeah. So I can select? Yeah, so those are all my other pictures in there you're probably looking at. I'm just, I, I just no wanna hit- I have no idea what's in there, so. I just wanna hit close. How do I do that? <laughs> let, me, let me, let me, let me grab that and see where you are. <laughs> charge of holding this backdrop. Can you tell that we're interns?
like on three forever. <laughs> On three. Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone gets as pumped as Kendall in the history of ever. and I just see like my whole cheek glistening. Actually, that could be sweat. That's very possible. I sweat a lot at that party. Okay, so it, it was about time for me to get emotional. Um, ah, whew. So I just got back from the volunteer party and I had so much fun. 
my favorite part is dancing. Everyone who was there would be like, yep, yeah, yeah, we saw her. Love dancing. That makes parties so much fun. And everyone just lets loose. I love it. It was great. Um, uh, festival's over. <laughs> Didn't really feel real until tonight, because this was like the last kind of hoorah. I mean, we still have a couple days at the office, but um, I feel like there's a, not a lot left. So it hit me. <laughs> I can't. I can't describe how much I can't describe how much this internship means to me. It was everything that I needed. I don't I, I don't even know how to explain it really. Like I loved the time that I spent at MSU, but this internship just the people and Traverse City and doing something that I love um, and promoting films and how films can change you and how everyone at that office everyone at that office made me feel important and I like can't say that because I'm like snotting all over the place And I realized how important <laughs> that is to me. It seems so silly to say out loud, but like, of course everyone needs to feel important and wants to feel important. But this internship just, it's been a long time since I've been like this happy. And I'm crying now, but like, it, they're good tears. They're amazing tears. I'm overwhelmed with happiness tears. So I'm just really thankful for this. I'm thankful to all the people and the work that I've done. And I'm excited to see where I go next. <laughs>